All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. I'm going to try to stay calm in this video. I, I've just been really very frustrated with what we are seeing. And, you know, sometimes you got to let it out. I mean, I don't know another way to put it. It's just, it's just frankly too stupid. It's too stupid. Let's talk about, um, actually, we have a lot of things to talk about. Let's start off with the basics. The Dow Jones Industrial Average put on a gain of about 100 points. The S&P 500 also put on a gain. The NASDAQ finished in the negative. Okay, all well and good. Anyone that is happy uh, or, 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 or anything regarding the stock market action today uh, has got a couple of screws loose here. Um, we had an 800-point sell-off. Uh, is it shocking to anyone that the Dow finished higher and the S&P a little bit by a fraction? No, not at all. Um, the real action again today was in the bond market. The entire yield curve plummeted. It was unbelievable. Yields were dropping across the board. Uh, the 10-year hit 1.5. I mean, this is an incredible situation. And again, look, <laughs> um, no one who follows this blog is surprised at all. I've explained to all of you years ago um, what we're seeing now and I am very proud to say that um, so all of you have expected this to come it's amazing how how many so-called professionals miss this anyone that considers themselves a market professional and wasn't able to see this coming from years ago is no professional at all and should look for another career path in my view now, why do I have tech support behind me? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> How many of you have seen the movie Vanilla Sky? Uh, when, when Tom Cruise is screaming, tech support! He wakes up from a nightmare, or he's in some kind of a nightmare situation. That's what we have here. Um, it's a nightmare, and it what, it's really what lies behind the mask, just as in the movie, um, that really we have to be looking at here it's it's not even the mask itself it's what's behind the mask and I want to cover a lot of that here today Under, understand people the the environment we are in is unlike anything we've ever seen before so anyone that tells you that and we're hearing this again all day long from the financial uh, the talking heads that they prop up out there you don't know, hand them a script and say read this uh, it's different this time. Oh, yeah, it's different this time. It's never different. As a matter of fact, the only thing that makes this one, I guess, kind of unique is we have we have an environment of maximum distortions. I mean, maximum distortions. They, they almost could not be any worse. And in my view, and I've explained this to you for weeks, we really probably are close to that moment of maximum distortions maximum uh, saturation with regard regard to debt now let's talk about that a little bit it's very important so today again we we're hearing um more from the president about how the federal reserve has dropped the ball um and needs to lower rates immediately look this is the same thing as as you let's say for example you were walking by a, a public pool and you saw some person drowning all right, and you were trying to save that person by taking buckets of water and throwing those buckets of water on top of that person's head. It doesn't work. It cannot work. Adding more debt to a full-blown debt crisis is, well, let me ask you, do you think that's good policy right now? Do you believe that that's the way to fix this situation. Let me show you what's being set up right now. We already understand, unless you live under a rock, that the president is following Peter Navarro's playbook. Peter Navarro, the economist, um, I guess the president has some kind of affinity towards this guy and thinks he's really smart. Because when Navarro says something, it gets parroted by the president. And he's being misled by this guy. And I think it's it's very possible that the president is afraid right now of the situation. And again, I'd like to think he's not really that stupid. And he ha has a little bit of understanding. Look, he's a businessman. He's a real estate guy. He is not a market guy. 
Okay, he is not a market guy. I don't even think he really understands central banking either. Uh, the fact that by allowing a central bank to issue more debt makes them stronger. The Federal Reserve today is stronger than it's ever been in history. And every day that it's allowed to or called upon uh, right now, like again, from the president and Peter Navarro to issue more debt, they get even stronger. It's an incredible concept that most people have no idea about, but this is how it works. This is their plan. It's a multi-decade plan, uh, multiple, multiple decade plan, probably longer than most of you are alive, longer than I'm alive. That's how long this has been in play. But what we're witnessing here, people, and I want you to understand this very clearly, it's economic policy failure by default. Understand. So what we're seeing here is, again, our economy is in free fall. The only thing that's supporting anything that's giving the illusion that we, that we are, anything is okay, is the relentless acquisition of debt, suppressed rates. Um, and this is a mechanism that has worked for quite a long time to keep the illusion real. But that's all this is. It's what, what lies behind the mask, like I'm explaining to you. This is like a mask, like from the movie Vanilla Sky. It's what lies behind the mask that we really need to be looking out for. And what lies behind that mask is something absolutely hideous that is being fueled by world leaders who have not the slightest clue of what to do because they are stuck in a very bad spot. I understand that. And a part of me feels a little bad for the president, but he allowed this to manifest itself. Um, I don't know what happens to a president. Once they move from candidate to president, something happens there. And again, like I explained to you this morning, when they're sat down behind that, the resolute desk, okay, I really believe this, and maybe it sounds like a conspiracy, but I think they're sat down and they're told the way it works, um, and they must comply. So what we're seeing here, again, out of the president and Peter Navarro, because he's running the show with regard to how the, what the president's saying is coming out of Navarro's mouth first with regard to the Federal Reserve. I wonder if Navarro is actually a plant in here to try to mislead the president and the American people. Maybe Navarro's, uh, you know, ideas, and he's using the president as a mouthpiece, but this is economic policy failure by default. By default, I mean that to keep this propped up or the illusion, to keep the mask on here, the president is calling for more easy money, for rate cuts, and, I, and like I explained to you, what the president will not tell you, or Navarro will not tell you at this point at least, is no matter how much the Federal Reserve were to cut rates, it will not prevent the inevitable meltdown. Again, I explained to you, it's so simple to understand. I mean, you got to be a sub-moron not to get it. Federal funds rate, 30 year. The 30 year is yielding less than the federal funds rate, okay? This is why the whole in in curve is inverted. Okay, so then what happens here? We get a rate cut, boom. Longer end of the curve will continue to drop. We get another rate cut, boom. Longer end of the curve will continue to drop. It's a cycle. It's an incredible, vicious, terrible feedback loop that we're stuck in. And I really hope that the president wakes the freak up and snaps out of it and says, hold on a minute. No, no, no. The right thing to do is to have the Fed raise rates. That is the right thing to do. Every world leader is playing the same game. You think this is by coincidence? It's insane. But, I don't know, that, that, that's, that's really what's happening here. People, you should understand this. And, and I want to, you know what, I want to give a little credit to the president, a little bit, while credit to do, because he let, he let something out today. Um, and I, I, I caught it, and I hope you did too. Again, I, I give credit where credit to do, and I do this all the time. Today, the president said this, soon, okay, that's the word he used, soon, the United States will be winning the trade war with China, okay? His narrative thus far has been, we have been winning thus far, right up till today. But today, the truth came out. He believes, and look, this is his belief, maybe he's wrong, maybe he's right, 
But let's give the man a little bit of credit, all right? A little bit? He did admit that we're not winning. He said, soon we will be winning. And I, I, I really look... I'm looking for anything, and maybe I'm grasping at whatever I, I'm grasping at, but some kind of truth from this man, and I think we got it today. I really do. For him to say that, it's pretty obvious. Soon. Um, Mr. President, you know what? I'll take my hat off to you. I don't have a hat right now. But seriously, I take my hat off to you for at least letting that out there. Okay, letting it... I think we all understand where this is going. We are not winning. We are not taking in billions from China. It's so it's so incredibly in our face. All you got to do is the math. I mean, it's, it's just too stupid. Yeah, sure, we are taking in. Okay, we'll give them credit, sixty billion from the tariffs, but we're losing a hundred and eighty billion uh, from the trade gap. So there's still a uh, hundred and something billion dollars that we're losing here, Mr. President. Okay, maybe you want to turn that around too. I don't know. Um, lastly, before I let you go, I want you to think about this. There's always a fall guy here. And I think Peter Navarro is being set up as a fall guy. No secret. The president is parroting Peter Navarro with regard to what the Federal Reserve should do. Cut rates, cut rates, blah, blah, blah. And then the president is parroting it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, whatever. Whatever, whatever a parrot sounds like. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but... If you're following the mainstream financial channels, again, they always throw little little things out there to give you a clue. They're already predicting, are you ready for this? A Navarro recession. It's being called the Navarro recession. Okay? To me, that sounds like Navarro is being set up as a fall guy here. Meanwhile, the president has the bully pulpit and he's just parroting this guy. So you can see, I, believe me, this kind of thing doesn't get floated out there by accident. This is the White House. This is the White House floating it out there. And Peter Navarro, you notice how he's been on TV a lot lately? He's getting a, a lot of coverage just because he's being set up as the fall guy. It's so simple. This is just basic strategy. Uh, I studied military strategy for a long time. It fascinated me for the longest time. Uh, this whole market thing, this is all strategy, uh, how to beat it. Um, anyway, with that said, I want you to think about all of these things I just covered in this video. I think they're very important concepts. If you would agree, if you're on my team, I'm counting on you to get this video out as far as and wide as you can. Again, this is not my thing. This is our thing. So uh, let's make it happen. Share it. I will come back and read the comments. Ponder these things I've spoken about. And I want to hear from you. I really do. And I promise, I do read these comments. And I do write back to some of you when I can. I'm a busy guy. You all know that. I love you seriously from the heart. And um, I'll see you tomorrow morning.